Hello, my fellow investors, and welcome back to another fundamental analysis video. Today, guys, we are going to take a look at one of your recommendations. And of course, to do that, we are going to spin the wheel because uh, we haven't done this for a while and we only have two here. So let's spin this wheel and see what company we're going to analyze today. And by the looks of it, we got the company BOC. Now, this company BOC was brought up by none other than Yenveen. Yenveen. All right, cool. So here's the comment um, where you recommended this. So let's take a look at this company. Let's check out what they do. Let's check out their fundamentals and do a discount of free cash to see if maybe at the current share price is looking like a buy or not. So with that said, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Really does help with the algorithm on YouTube as well. So we'll make sure to follow us on XFL Investing. If you'd like, join us on the Discord. The link is in the description below. So with that said, let's get started with this analysis. All right, guys. So this is the company Boston Omaha, which I feel like I've done this one before. And um, oh, man, these fundamentals are just, oh, man, it's, it's going to be really, really difficult. Honestly, like I already know this is going to be nearly impossible to do, but I will cover it as best as possible that I can. So obviously, Boston Omaha, guys, this is in the communication services. And well, you can see that together with the subsidiaries engages in outdoor billboards advertising business in Southeast United States. It also involved it is also involved in the surety insurance and related brokerage broadband and asset management business the company was formerly known as reo plus and changed its name to boston omaha corporation in march of 2015 boston omaha corporation was incorporated in 2009 so yeah it's a really really small company as you all can see right over here with the fact that the number of employees is only 451 and again only founded in 2009 so it's a really really small and kind of newer kind of company and now guys if we take a look at the earnings we can see that their last earnings was on 813 where the eps normalized actual came in at negative seven dollars so yeah they really don't have a pe here and even that was a miss by three pennies no gap actual and the revenue came in at 27.9 million dollars which is to be by 512.4 thousand dollars and we can see that the next earnings will be on november 13th and well their eps normalized estimates estimated at negative two cents and the revenue 27.12 million dollars and one revision that one to the downside so now let's take a look at the actual spreadsheet we got the ticket for blc market cap of 470 million dollars a pe of na obviously we knew this because of the fact that their well their earnings are in the negative and uh current share price of uh 14 dollars and 94 cents and if we take a look at this graph on the one year they're down 9.95 percent and year to date they are down also 5.02 percent 52 week range is 12 dollars and 41 to 16 dollars and 99 cents uh we're essentially right there smack in the middle kind of leaning more towards the higher end but still smack in the middle guys i don't know this is a company that right now eh, the numbers aren't really that enticing and we haven't even taken a look at the fundamentals just yet and when we take a look further we can see that they do not pay out the dividend which means all of the free cash was going straight to themselves and this free cash was actually getting a whole lot worse negative 10.35 million dollars in the 10-year average and well negative 35.8 million dollars for the last year's free cash guys this is awful this is straight up awful so now let's move into now the fundamentals and see what in the world is happening here now let's take a look at guys the fundamentals and starting of course with the net income okay uh this is all over the place we got 10 years ago of negative 0.1 million dollars to one year ago of um, negative seven million dollars massive spike as of three years ago but i mean guys i i, I can't i can't make this look good but i just cannot make this look good so this is a massive decrease of 6,900%. Um, yeah, this is an easy 0%. I do not like this one bit. Now, looking at the free cash flow, this isn't faring any better. We got negative $0.9 million 10 years ago to one year ago of negative uh, $35.8 million. Uh, this is a decrease of uh, 3,878% with an average of negative $10.35 million. Guys, I'm going to give this a 5% just because of the fact that from two to one year ago they slightly went up aside from that th this is no good this is, this is just straight up no good now the revenue on the other hand is the only one that looks very very good we got 10 years ago of 0.7 million dollars to one year ago of 96.3 million dollars this is an increase of whew, 13,657 percent dear lord 
Now, this is a pretty good looking graph. I'm going to give this guys 100% for what it's worth. As a, as a reference only, as you can see, it is going up. The liabilities all looks identical to that of the assets, and then the assets minus the liabilities, it honestly doesn't even look that bad. Pretty consistently increasing, a little dips here and there, but still looking okay. Average total assets of $421.73 million, and liabilities of $78.46 million, a difference of $343.26 million. I'm going to give this guy a 95%. It's actually not even that bad. Now, the cash minus the liabilities, obviously the cash is in the gutter. You can see that this trend is uh, in the gutter as well. Only as of recently is when they slightly pulled up. One year ago being negative $187.6 million. The average being negative $80.89 million, guys. This is a very, very bad graph. I'm going to give this a 5%. Now, the share is outstanding. This thing is just massive dilution all across the board. It's exactly what you would expect from a company like this. Still don't like it, though. Going from 0.3%. 0.3 million shares 10 years ago to the day of 31.5 million shares dilution of 10,400 percent guys previously to the current year increase of 0.64 percent is an easy zero percent and lastly cash and governance they currently hold 24.6 million dollars with an average of 24.72 million dollars not really surprising that this company is not that good 31 percent for me guys two zeros here the only thing that they got going for them is their assets and the revenue that really is it right that really Really, really is it so right off the bat i would just not even go further i saw that free cash so i would just stop right there but for all of you guys let's take a look at now that it's kind of free cash and see what price we should pay for this company okay guys and um right off the bat i'm gonna tell you this right now just kind of free cash flow does not work for these types of companies we're still gonna do it but i'm just letting you know it doesn't work for these type of companies because you need companies that are decently established and that have pretty consistent free cash flow this is not so Right off the bat, we got uh, $8,303, not adjusting for debt, and then adjusting for debt, pretty much the same thing, just off by a few pennies. So let's input some of these numbers. We can see here that the average 10-year revenue, and that's been very consistent, it's at 113% in the past 10 years. Thing is that this is basically taken like zero to what it is now. So that's a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit disingenuous in a way. The projected share buyback, they've been issuing shares at 131% in the past, or at least every single year in the past 10 years. So, inputting some of these numbers. Okay, so, for the projected share, well, let's start it off with the revenue. The revenue, I personally, guys, have no idea. If we take a look at Seeking Alpha really quickly, we can see that the revenue forward, I don't do this for the 10 year, but just for this one time, revenue forward is estimated at 11.79%. So, if I do this, if I just put, if I just put, guys, 10 uh 12 i'm gonna be very very uh lenient with this 10 12 and 14 percent in the next 10 years look at these numbers guys now for the projected share buyback you guys can see forty thousand dollars not not the case right forty thousand dollars is not the case so projected share buyback they're gonna keep issuing a lot i have a feeling they're gonna keep issuing a whole lot so let's say something along the lines of um negative 140 percent right for the lowest assumption for the median you guys can see what's happened right there for the median let's go over the negative uh 135 percent uh yeah or, or maybe negative 130 percent and then for the highest assumption let's say let's go down let's go up by another 10 negative 120 percent yeah very very interesting isn't it very very interesting because these numbers right here well we're kind of right smack in the middle right now for the recovery of the return guys i would say match the market maybe a little bit less on the lower end seven percent basically yeah a dollar 83 to six dollars and 16 and then a dollar 83 to six dollars and 16 there really is no change here guys I, I, yeah I, again these types of companies i don't i don't like them based off of their fundamentals do they have potential to go up yes but then again so does every single company have that has that risk right Based on the fundamentals, I would have just stopped right there. I would have not kept going. But obviously, if you guys continue, and if you do want to invest in this company, it's basically where the price target would be, kind of. I don't know. Again, very, very difficult when it comes to companies that don't have pretty consistent free cash flow. Again, not financial advice. Every investment is the present value of all future cash flow, as I say in every single video. Guys, make the decision for yourselves. This, These numbers right here, they, they don't necessarily mean the company is going to that. The company could continue to go up. But it gives you a reference as to what the value of the company is worth. And yeah, based on fundamentals, they're not good, right? They're just not good. So take all of this with a grain of salt, obviously. But understand that 
this kind of company, fundamentals just aren't there. So, all in all, when it comes to Boston Omaha, I don't know. I, I think I've done this one before. Guys, invest in this one in your own risk. You guys just saw my opinion. I'm not really a fan of it. But again, not financial advice. Every investment is the present value of all future cash flow. So, with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. It really does help with the algorithm on YouTube as well. So, make sure to follow us on XFL Investing. If you like, join us on the Discord. The link is in the description below where we have uh, an open Discord mic conversation, I guess you could say, on Sundays where we just talk about the upcoming week. So, if you guys would like to join that, just make sure to join the Discord and to stop by. You know, that really is it. If you're disrespectful, if you're rowdy, yeah, we kick you. That, that, that really is it. But thank you guys so much. With that said, peace out, and we'll see you all next time.